I want to give you three studies that I recommend you to read and actually understand also. You know, you shouldn't just read, you should understand them. So the first one is a study um, which women trained subjects and they in uh, the hospital they were um, injected with the endotoxin that, that is uh, causing uh, symptoms like flu-like symptoms and in this uh, study they showed that they could reduce the symptoms so what I want you is to go to this study and read because this really shows how the breathing and the meditation affects the body when you're doing it for extended periods this is a really good study and it has graphs and it's a, it's a legit one it's a legit one so check out this one this is uh, used for like uh, evidence for Wim Hof method amongst others and the second one is about the immune system for cold uh, immersion so I got this one here um, the effect of a single finish sauna session on a white cell blood profile and um, this one really talks about how the cortisol level levels are influenced by cold water and how the immune system reacts to cold water and this is really important if you want to understand uh, what temperatures that affect the body and how the body is affected you know because there is evidence that there is a positive immune system response when you're uh, immersed in cold water so check out this study it's really good it's legit you know there's no it's not the uh, shade or anything it's a legit study and the third one is uh, this one it's about the hormonal response uh, for cold exposure like this study uh, it's not a study they are looking up the, the evidence for how the hormones are changing like for for short period of like intense cold and also for cooler periods in the year. This one is really good, it has a lot of information and I really recommend it to, write, to read this one and understand it. I, I'm putting a lot of this information in my book now so that's also why I'm a little bit keen to show you this. It talks about thyroid hormones, um, adrenal hormones, so and also growth factor and at the end you know this is this is the good stuff they have a really good table where they show they 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 put up all their hormones like they don't test all the hormones you know they have chosen a few and they show they have a table I'm gonna show you in the video um, shows you how it like if it increases decreases or if there were no change for short time cold exposure or during the cold season so here you can really see how it affects but also the study concludes that there is more science needed to be done to be like really conclusive about some of these hormones but if you read the study you're gonna understand how, is, how it works and how much you can really trust this you know but it, this is the best I found about the hormones because you know as I said there's a lot of confusion people say it doesn't release this cortisol, it does release the cortisol, like like why is that good? Because people say cortisol is stressing your body. So how could it be good to take a cold shower? I mean, read these studies and you will understand more how cold water is affecting your your system. It's affecting more than your cardiovascular system. You know, it's only it's not only the blood vessels constricting and dilating. You know, it's so much more that is going on. So read these studies and understand it. Just don't read it and go through it, you know. And in future I will make more videos about it because it's important and I'm writing my book so I want to understand it before I present like my information of it. Yeah. And one in, uh, tr interesting thing here 
Like, I've heard some people claiming that Wim Hof method increases testosterone, but in this study you can clearly see that free testosterone, free T4, is not changed during short cold immersion. Uh, and I've never seen any, any like evidence for that testosterone is, is increased when you're doing cold showers. So here we can debunk some myth and we can also um, get some new information that oh, I didn't know that it affects this. Uh, so it can be beneficial for that. So it's really good to get clear on how the cold water affects the body. So check out this, uh, this science and take your daily showers. I'm doing it now. Feel awesome, boosts my energy, boosts my immune system, and keeps my clear, my skin clear. So I feel good. But I'm not in Sweden, so I can't do like proper ice baths, like long, extensive ones. Uh, but there's time for that too. But I always keep to my cold shower, daily showers, cold, cold daily showers. <sighs> yeah, this is a very very precious topic for me because I'm trying to be scientific in, in what I advocate because otherwise it's just gonna be like a mess, you know I'm just gonna quote myself later on like, oh, why did I say that? like, it's not true, you know and people are gonna be very confused because people say different stuff so, when I say something I want to have a reference so I can say I said that because I read it there it's always good to have a source so, stay strong guys Love ya, go into the cold every day, embrace it, it's more than pain, it's a feeling, stay strong.